when you've got one big open space and nowhere to hide your stuff. Open up the microwave. It's your bread bin. It's time to call in the pros. <laughs> but this eco-chic marriage of styles, he has no choice, <laughs> isn't all frilly and white. See, I love the I look on your face. <laughs> Ryan are like so many first-time homeowners. They bought a condo because they love the high ceilings and its industrial chic feel. The problem is they have no storage and have no idea how to decorate it. We moved in about six months ago and we chose this space because it's a building that has been repurposed for condo housing. We chose a condo instead of a house because we like the idea of reducing our footprint. Being environmentally responsible is very important to us. We are excited about the opportunity to maybe repurpose furniture. We're engaged to be married in two months, so it's a really busy time for us. Since we've moved in, we've already tackled a few things. We've done a wardrobe and a little makeup nook for Erin. But once we got to the main room, we seemed to be just a little too busy to tackle decorating the condo right now. The kitchen area is all finished, and then your living area, not so much. It's like there's a line down the center. This is sort of where it ends. And this is your first place? Yep, first, first place, place to together, yeah. We actually um, got engaged pretty much right here. That's Aww. the story. <laughs> I love it. I will do a good job for your special <laughs> place. The pressure's on. This pressure cooker calls for Julia's two cents on the eco front, and Kristen skills with a level to keep me level-headed. We've inherited the kitchen. Fortunately, it is a gorgeous yeah. kitchen. They have storage issues, serious ones. Yeah. If you open up the microwave, uh -huh. you'll notice. It's your bread bin. It is, sadly. <laughs> well, it's funny, because I noticed that you had the peanut butter and the honey out and right beside our couch. And as soon as you walk into the space, it's like the kitchen is so super heavy. I'd love something that would balance out this wall. They also need storage, so I don't know about some kind of built-in. Some open shelves or something? Is that what you have in mind? They're supported. Any way we can take a, yeah, I see that they're supported. <laughs> I really would like to do floating shelves. Floating, you mean like, like defying gravity, like hovering? <laughs> There's a reason for my insanity. I would like to put a wallpaper behind those shelves. Mm -hmm. You want to see all that? I do. Um, and your supports are going to cover it up. OK, well, I, I'll, I'll think about that. I'll, I'll, I'll work on this a little bit. OK. How about any of these? These ones feel a little bit too traditional. How about like this? This is nice. Great, so don't cover too much in this, Christian, because this is too beautiful. <laughs> and it is very nice. They have this great island. Look at the stool. Look at how high the stool comes to the table. You yeah. wouldn't be able to fit your legs under there. And did you choose to have them red and blue? <laughs> they were donated to us okay. from a friend, so now they just need some TLC. OK, so you want me to work with these? Yes, please. I'm wondering if the upholsterer can cut that down. It's, it's worth a phone call, because you might have to pop the seat off and maybe shimmy it from the top. This is really the space that you want me to work with, Definitely. Right? This is not really set up for entertaining. And you're missing a coffee table. Yes, you have <laughs> a void. There's nothing. So what are you using right now? You sit down and... <laughs> well, we eat dinner on the couch. OK. We would like to have a coffee table. A coffee table would be nice, but I think we need something super large. So okay. either a round ottoman. Yeah. I was even considering an octagon. One thing I want to show you is this epitomizes their styles. It's in <laughs> his and hers <laughs> chair. Wow. And they just look so sad and lonely in oh this space. I'm a little more into the newer, shiny, more contemporary kind of look. I'm into the French, white, antique kind of thing. Is this ever an issue in terms of decorating? It can be. Everything is gray and white and gray and black. There's some hesitation on our behalf to add color. I would probably pick something too girly. Ryan would want something that was too manly. So you have to figure out how to marry those styles. Nice, right. Christian. <laughs> yes, I have to figure out how to marry the styles. I quite like his chair, and it's locally made. I think if we get a duplicate mm -hmm. and then put Aaron's chair in front of the island. What's on it right now? What kind of fabric do you want to keep that? See, I think you need a little bit of color in this space, even in something like the chair. 
I heard totally her. heard I like a big <laughs> sigh. I don't know about the chair. I think that we need to change it because it's white and there's all these white walls. What kind of color are we thinking? Something soft that's like a subtle gradation from this whole gray, white, and black palette. How are you going to convince her? Well, I think that if we show her an entire palette, like a great storyboard, yeah. once it all comes together, she'll see that it works. Yes. The windows. I would like to get them a very simple roll shade. It gets hot in there. It's a waste of energy not to have these covered. Well, with any good blind, that's what they'll do. They'll save money on their energy bills by keeping the heat in in the winter and then cooler in the summer. The last thing is I would love to add a little bit of a feminine detail into the kitchen, and I'm thinking that the light fixture could do it. Like a chandelier or something? You got it. Okay. And are you OK with that, if we add a little bit of girliness to the space? Yeah, I'm OK with some girliness. He has no choice. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I'm asking the wrong person. Oh, sounds yeah. like a girly shopping trip. You can come, too. Yeah, I think I'll be busy with something else. <laughs> After meeting with Christian and Julia, we have come up with some great ideas for Aaron and Ryan's space. The kitchen's staying the same, but we'll fix their stools and add two more with backs for lounging over lingering dinner parties. The TV and couch are getting the old switcheroo to create a clustered seating area, reusing most of their furniture pieces to help reduce for the planet. And our huge feature wall is also functional. Open shelving for pretty things and clothes beneath to hide clutter a breezy fan for the ceiling, and simple roll shades for the windows. That's going to cut the heat and save on energy. Aaron and Ryan have reduced their footprint and their storage. Right now, there's food everywhere. But before we tackle that problem, I'm giving Aaron some backup with a few feminine touches. I'm a little nervous they might gang up on me and try to make this place a little too girly for me. Wow, it's like lighting heaven in here. It's very sparkly and gorgeous. Isn't it? Oh, you know when I was little, I used to take them off and put them on my ears for earrings. <laughs> Look at all of these fun ones. A skateboard. Or maybe you want the hockey, what is this, arena? A hockey arena, yeah. A basketball court. Ryan might like a basketball court. I don't think that we want to do something so traditional. I think she would love it. I'm drawn to this one because mm. of the black and the deco details of it, but I think it's just too elegant, too many crystals. This is more along the lines of what we're looking for. Really simple lines. It'll work for Ryan as well as Aaron. We should think about putting on dimmers because it might, it might help them save in their energy bills and they don't have to change the light bulbs as often. Oh, that's a good idea. Work. But I think this is the one. Last time we met, you said you really wanted to use the space for entertaining. You know that manly chair that you love? Yes. You need some extra seating, so I thought, let's get you a duplicate of that exact same chair. Cool, that's great. The focal point of this seating area is going to be an ottoman. It's an octagon. The fabric will be this fabulous gray with a little bit of lavender and also a shot of green. Nice little punch of purple. Not feeling too no. girly. I think it's kind of masculine in a way. Mm -hmm. Which is good, because I'll be adding a few feminine <laughs> details. <laughs> and that leads me to your chair. Uh-oh. Yes. So I didn't choose a fabric that had a lot of pattern, because I didn't want you to have a heart attack. Good. This would be a subtle change, but enough of a change to really make a difference. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting, which is, is calming to me. The part that I'm really the most excited about is this wall here. 15 feet of shelving, storage units beneath. And the wall behind will stay white? No. The most fabulous trellis wallpaper. Wow. I love this. I thought you would. That is pretty cool. It's a trellis, but it's still modern for you, Ryan. Above this island, Ryan, you will be happy to know that there will be a stunning chandelier. <laughs> I'm happy about it. <laughs> And that's essentially it, which is a lot. That is a lot. Oh, one more thing. We found out from the company who installed your kitchen that we can get a pantry made. Oh, that is fantastic. And it'll match, I assume? It's an identical match, because it's the same company. Great. Yeah. I think Sam's, from what we've seen, has done a great job bringing together the two styles that we have. I'm excited about getting another chair. Yeah, and I get another really girly piece with the chandelier, so I'm excited. With another manly chair, Aaron's might get a bit lonely, so Jules is out shopping for a little surprise for our bride-to-be. 
a second Louis-inspired chair will lend a hand for some extra seating. And comfortable seating is the goal all around. With shorter legs, their old stools are getting refreshed at their request instead of thrown out. And new ones are being made to match. So what's going on, Christian? <laughs> well, Spark. I'm installing this uh, plywood on the wall yeah. right, to reinforce the wall so we get a good surface to mount those shells on. Right? Now the shells aren't going to fly off at night. They're going to stay, they're gonna stay <laughs> on the wall for sure. Hi. Hi, Julia. The blinds look great from the outside. From the inside, and too. Oh, they beautiful. <laughs> We're starting to create the ottoman, and I just, I wasn't sure if you wanted to see it, the stripes running horizontally, or if you wanted to see them vertically. This is gonna be a real statement piece in the room. Yeah. By railroading the fabric so that all the stripes are horizontal, mm -hmm. all the way around, nice tight upholstery, okay. that that ottoman is going to read even wider. It's just gonna be such a super wow piece. Yeah. With the stripes, horizontal. Great! This repurposed space is a little bit of a his and hers. They sum up our style. So we're bringing our green solutions to make it theirs. I love this. That is pretty cool. In an open concept, you can't take up valuable space with heavy display pieces. So how about art that's mainly composed of air? Sound impossible? Not for artist Rudy Kekla. I see myself as an illustrator. Rather than using a line of ink or graphite on a piece of paper on a two-dimensional plane, I uh, sketch in space. Rudy, I feel like I'm walking through a cartoon. It's like <laughs> drawings come to life. <laughs> I, I see them as uh, steel holograms. This looks like Beethoven. This is indeed Beethoven. With Beethoven. his crazy hair. This is my plan. I'll just show you quickly. I'm going to just working on his hair. OK, yes. I'll step back. A little bit of silver solder where I'm about to fasten the hair. Mm -hmm. Just cool that off. Look at this against the wall. Part of appreciating your work is the shadow and the light. I find the shadows more interesting than the work itself in many cases. So you spend days and days and days working on a sculpture, and the light and the shadow is almost more important to you. Yes, exactly. Oh, it's going to be a tough decision, but I know I'm going to find something that's going to be a fantastic fit. From something delicate to something daring. Those really are some high ceilings. Not so great for those on a ladder, but perfect for wallpaper with impact. And after they're done with that new pantry, it'll look like it was always there. And the best part is that they have drawers with a soft close mechanism. And look at this wallpaper, hugely dramatic. And the gray and white trellis pattern is going to completely balance out that dark gray kitchen on the other side of the room. Right now, our octagonal shaped ottoman is being upholstered in a striped fabric using a soy-based upholstery foam. Erin's Louis chair, which I convinced her to reupholster, is also being refreshed with a new linen. And here comes Christian to install the shelves. It's yeah. good. I brought, I brought some help today. I can help. I know how to use a ladder. <laughs> I prepped this wall already with half-inch plywood. These shelves we're going to install here, they're not supported under here. They're just fastened right at the wall. I'm going to do that with these brackets. The only thing that's going to be holding this shelf on are fasteners right at the wall. First thing I want to do is measure and mark the height of the bottom shelf. Now I've made my baseline. I know this is level. I can use a tape measure now to measure a foot and a half intervals for my next three shelves. Now that I've pre-drilled these holes, I can get these heavy-duty wall anchors in here, and these are the bits that are really going to grab onto that shelf. So right at the moment, these little brackets are tipping forward just a little bit. I want to adjust that by using one or two little shims right under this bracket here. That's actually got this thing pre-bent a little bit so that when there's load on the shelf, it'll straighten out and be perfectly level. I 
I have three parts of shelves that I'm gonna to fasten together to make one continuous 15 foot length shelf. There we go, fantastic. Now I just need some wood filler to fill these fastener holes. Um, just a little bit more filler right at that seam. These are gonna get painted a nice finished paint. I have two more to do up this wall and, but I'm on the right track, this is looking fantastic. Aaron and Ryan's loft was already a beautiful space. We're just bringing our lofty ideas to finish it off. When it comes to light fixtures, a couple commonly asked questions are, how large should my fixture be and how high should it be hung from the tabletop? When it comes to size, a good general rule of thumb is half the length of your dining table. Then when it comes to height, there's a few tricks you can use. I like using the umbrella trick if I have a bowl chandelier or one that you can't see through. An umbrella will help you determine how high or low to hang your fixture, and it's a lot easier than holding a heavy chandelier. But if you have a fixture that's see-through like this one and doesn't take up a lot of visual weight, 28 to 36 inches is the standard. That ladder's getting a workout on this project. Objects are going up, and clutter's getting stored. Aaron and Ryan needed help with their open concept space, so we turned issues into assets by making use of the high ceiling, creating a seating cluster, and opened it up for entertaining. Adding eco-friendly storage with style, helping them to reduce their carbon footprint. Look at the pretty wallpaper. It's huge. That looks amazing. It's a huge wall, and to be able to have a shelf running the whole width is phenomenal. The most dramatic thing in the room are Christian's shelves that he built. He reinforced the wall with plywood, forest-friendly wood, as well as forest-friendly paper. Most people don't think that design of that quality can actually be green. It's amazing that she can achieve those goals using environmentally friendly products. This is the ultimate example of closed and open storage. Yeah. So all the beautiful stuff goes up here. Anything you don't want people to see goes into the closed storage beneath. In the seating area, the hero in the space. Gorgeous. I see, I love the I look love on your face. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna gorgeous. take her with me. <laughs> All the whites and grays were colors you already had. Then the apple green and the lavender was a cue for the rest of the fabrics. Like your chair. I love the chair. I'm so happy that you love the chair because I know you were nervous about having it upholstered in a fabric that was a color. Yep. So this is your entertaining area and it's all anchored by your white carpet. I see another chair over there, I didn't notice. Okay, so that takes me to the desk. <laughs> love it. <laughs> That chair we found for a steel, and it had your name written all over it. It's all white. The reason why this works is because we have this vintage desk, which we painted in a gray. And then I wanted to show you this piece. This is from an artist who is just fabulous. Perfect scale to everything else that's on the desk. When it's nighttime and the lights come on, the beautiful thing about this piece is it casts an amazing shadow on the wall. It's a clean-lined, stoic figure of a person, one of Rudy Kekla's classics. Let's talk about your windows. It's just a beautiful filtered light that comes through the space, and that's huge energy savings. Yeah, it huge. looks amazing. And then speaking of energy savings, that ball fan is like the most modern fan. That's for you, Ryan. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, you can hardly even tell it's in here. It just fits perfectly. I love that juxtaposition in your space, which has got this industrial feel with glamour. Industrial glamour, if I was to sort of <laughs> shoehorn a theme around your space, it would be industrial glamour. Do you not love this pantry? Can we walk over Amazing. here? Amazing. It's a seamless addition to your space. It's incredible. And before your countertop just kind of ended here, this ends the kitchen. It's like a bookend to your fridge. Mm -hmm. Adding a pantry, all of our food is now put in a proper place, out of sight. I love that we were able to use your existing stools. We had them cut down. We painted the legs of the stools that we found with backs, mm -hmm. and now you can tuck these under so that when you're cooking up a storm in here, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, as per, Ryan as per usual, when you're cooking up a storm in here, 
these, you know, we don't have backs on them, so it's not going to, you're not going to trip up on a stool. Perfect. What do you think of your light fixture? We've got the modern shades, so. Yeah, and well, I, actually, when you say chandelier, this is more masculine, and like, there's no danglies and frilly stuff. I was a little nervous when you toss around the word chandelier, but this one fits both of our styles. So was I able to marry your styles together? The girly girl and, you know, very streamlined, masculine. Yeah, I think it's bang on. I was going to say bang on. <laughs> <laughs> She's done an amazing job pulling together some hints of color and getting me another man chair and the cool industrial fan. I think she did a great job meshing. So the wedding's coming up in a month and there's just so much to do that decorating the house wasn't really in my timeline. I'm just so thankful that it's done and it's done so well. Condos and reclaimed buildings are often beautiful but not always functional. So we gave Aaron and Ryan more storage and a defined area for entertaining. And now that everything's in its place, they're eager to invite their friends over and reclaim their social life. Okay, no, I'm gonna do it. What am I doing wrong? Christian, like, this is serious work that you do. That's just one screw there. Oh, almost. Oh. <laughs>